power play, Jeremy Waters gets a pass off to Jeff Fernandez, and Fernandez fires through Denzel Moran Weeks for a 2-0 lead. Battle of or loose ball here behind the goals, won by Ty Thompson. He walks out in front, deposits past Steve Walsh to get Nepean on the board. Liam Osborne gets a pass off to McWaters while he's on his back, and he knows what to do with it. That is goal number 100 as a Green Gale for Jeremy McWaters. Second period, Graham Sharon gets rid of the ball. A split second later, he is just crumpled by Zach Bryant. Just past the midway point of the game, the Knights on a power play. Sam Firth collects the first of back-to-back -back goals for him that would have Nepean trailing by 7-4. The second one coming as he somehow gets in behind everyone. Owen Boyle looking to add to the lead here, but he is turned aside by Ryan Kent, who played quite well in relief in this game. Green Gales get up the floor quickly here. Riley Palmer to Brady Kiernan to Liam Osborne. He puts in his ninth goal in just under 24 hours. Justin Bragg breaking in two-on-one with Blake Lothian. Bragg keeps, and that works out just fine. Thank you very much. And Lothian would get on the score sheet himself a few minutes later. Palmer finds him breaking in towards goal. And that's going to make it 11-5. Now Osborne beats Kent here for the final time in this game. And Kent, while making his way to the bench to get a hit from the water bottle, he's going to get a little bit hands-on here during the goal celebration. Not exactly sure what sparked that. A little bit of frustration, perhaps. Nepean will take the loss on the afternoon, but head home with the style points as Thompson... The best looking goal of the day with this over the shoulder back bouncer. 14 to 6 is the final. The captain, Riley Palmer, getting his first game action of the season. Likes the look of his team as we approach the quarterway mark of the campaign. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's my first game back. Uh, I'm not sure how we did before. I've heard. Uh, for mixed things, but I think uh, we had a little slump there. But for most of the game, we uh, put a good game together and uh, played as a team. I'm just happy to be back. You know, our, our systems are a lot better. We're getting our guys back. I'm learning a lot, just alone myself. From watching these older guys play, it's unreal. Watching the bench, playing alongside with them is a lot of fun. I get to learn a lot of new things about the game. It's just a great group of guys. We're getting closer, working hard, and working towards our goal every, every week.